Hello. How's it going? Got a video. Actually, got a journal. Am a video. Oh well. Here goes. Are you caged? It's from March 23rd, 2010. It's the second journal from that day. And the Mayan calendar day is one vulture or wisdom. Wow. I think I may be left saying that for a few days here. After last night's experience with the Arcturians, I am left so thoroughly changed, it's as if my center of gravity has changed. It's gone higher. I am more anchored in a higher density self. Needless to say, I like it. But preferences aside, for they're meaningless, what is different? I was surprised to notice, for one thing, that my eyes seemed to be dilated. It took me by surprise in the mirror. Macaws like mirrors, you know. There are, and will be noticed, many changes to vision. I'm no longer stuck in 3D anymore. I almost hesitate to write here. I feel that I'm walking on sacred ground to be discussing and looking at these things. In a way, it's not good, for they'll reveal themselves in the living, the being. So what's this with the examining? Okay, moving on. Is there anything at all to say? Maybe not. I don't know. What comes through? Silence. Silence and more of an awareness, a moving into beingness in this new body, this seemingly new one. We are all multidimensional, each one. None's left out of this. It's just a matter of what we're aware of. This is where our beliefs and our thoughts come in, for they create quite a cage around higher self. They, the beliefs, the thoughts, are our legitimate use of free will. So, they're respected by higher self. If we want to cage ourself, that's our business. For, in the higher realms, we're quite free to roam. Our full beingness is anything but caged. No, that's just an experience we create for 3D self below, for the learning, the growth that it brings. So, there's no harm either way, caged or not caged. But anyway, what is happening perhaps with me is that I am much more free now. The bars are down. So, I've expanded out into more of what I am, into higher frequencies available to all. I don't know. It's too new yet. I'm just musing. I know I went, with the Arcturian's help and guidance, to sixth density and there made adjustments. In that higher awareness, which is also the self, I made healings and cleansings of old records happen. I altered the pattern of the hologram I project into 3D. That's probably enough said. As for the rest, feel the difference. You too have these abilities. There's nothing unique or strange about me in the sense that what man has done, <clears throat> bird has done, bird can do. All is available. Free will reigns. So, extend your senses then. Open up your intuition. Drop down into heart. And then just extend out. Just feel into me. Make an arc. 
heart to heart, check it out. Know that you can do this. Change your knowings. Go listen to the videos on knowing what you know. They are recent ones. You are in charge of your life, but to do this, the blame game must stop. All judgment, whether of others or of self, as well as all fear, none of it's real. The unreal must be seen through. Do you see how that's done? Well, don't worry, for you know, everyone does. Just drop down into heart, you'll be taught. The still voice that's inside, it ever abides there. And if you quieten the self down, you will hear it. Your journey is as magnificent, as powerful, and exciting as the next guy's. Actually, it's better by far, because it's yours. You have a message, a gift that's so necessary, and the world is awaiting its ripening within you. So, if my journey has any meaning, let it be to awaken you to the majesty and the might that's within you. Yours is the most important one you will ever take. No one else has anything on you. Please make room in your thoughts and beliefs for this understanding of the importance of you. There's no other that will come and do your dance or sing your song. That's left strictly in your capable wings. They haven't got what it takes to be you. In this whole vast wide cosmos, there is none, no, not one other one who has followed the pathway you've trod. You're the only one who is qualified, who has the experience, who's tried all the things that you've taken on. Only you. You are magnificent, my friend. Let that sink in. Now, accept it, please. Just accept it, then let it be. It will do all the work by itself. Time to begin to see the power of vision to be that which is seen. Just like truth, which is a mighty cleaning wind, sight bestows itself. When we let it in, when eyes open then, what enters in is self. Come from purity, be heart-centered, please. Come along with me. You've got work to be, but first to see what is, then be yourself. Thank you.